Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a fashion haul. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, autumn winter is definitely my favourite sort of time of year for clothes. Like I love layering and I love not feeling too sticky and hot and again living in the UK definitely need good autumn winter clothes um so I've definitely been shopping the Black Friday sales a little bit but honestly these clothes have been buying since way back in September sort of when the seasons start to change um so let's crack on um, I'm gonna start with ASOS and actually I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing so this is by Stradivarius but um got it via ASOS and it's just a plain um black roll neck I've rolled the sleeves but they do sort of come down to here so I've got actually two in this black colour but then also I picked up one in this sort of it's coming up a lot more orange on camera but it's sort of this rusty coloured one you're definitely going to notice a theme with materials and colours just putting that out there right away <laughs> um but yeah so I bought this um yeah I started with the black ones and then I bought this um rust one not that long ago um and these are about I think they're like eight quid I think it's 7.99 or something like that and they're just really good staples I think particularly for this time of year like, they're easy to layer and they're just really comfortable and comfy and yeah not that expensive cheap and cheerful and yeah as I said I've got two of the black ones and one in this colour so yeah I think they're a good nice winter staple um speaking of something that I wish to layer them with I have here a jumpsuit so this jumpsuit here is by daisy street um and as you can see it sort of is like a definitely like more of a strappy um jumpsuit and it's kind of like wide leg midi style this definitely doesn't show it but <laughs> this me holding it up doesn't do it any justice but um but yeah so i bought this again as i said autumn winter and this isn't necessarily the you don't want to be getting your arms out so much so i definitely plan to layer it um, under this uh, roll neck because I think that'll just look nice. I also plan to belt it and I just think, yeah, this really wasn't that expensive. I think this was about 20 quid as well. Again, leopard print, I'm a massive fan of it and I think last season it was definitely everywhere. So I think this may have been a remnant of that. And, but yeah, it's, that's, I wanna talk about trends real quick. Like I'm, I guess there's kind of two trends that I'm, you'll definitely see that I enjoy, uh, which are leopard print and cord. But there's something that I love all the time and that's what I think about trends is the ones that you like great because they're everywhere and the stuff's cheaper and easier to get hold of but the ones you don't like just leave them it doesn't really matter does it um but yeah so I've got this to kind of wear on more casual days and a layering piece speaking of cord I've got myself a jacket so I don't know if you would have seen it I've got a um from forever 21 like a burgundy color one and I've had that for a few years now um so I wanted a black one as well so um this is kind of again like a similar shape to that burgundy one that I have where it's kind of like basically a denim jacket shape like almost like a little bit cropped um sort of definitely if you wear high-waisted jeans kind of like on the line of your jeans in a black color and it's got quite a thin cord because I've got <laughs> another product which I'll talk about um which has got a thick cord I feel like I'm all over the place in this video I apologize oh and I just messed up my hair um but yeah so I got this again um more of a more of a layering piece um for the little bit more warmer days if I'm out during the day um where it's not too cold but so I can wear like a thin jacket I can also pop a hoodie on underneath and then whatever jumper what have you I'm wearing I've had this quite a little while this is one of the first things that I got but um but yeah no I'm really enjoying it and yeah I think it's something that will definitely because it is that slightly more thin material, definitely something that can take me through into spring and even summer if I need sort of like a, a thinner jacket. So yeah, it's quite like that. Speaking of a jacket that I probably can't wear in summer <laughs> is this camel coat. I have been wanting a camel coat for years. So um, this is by uh, Warehouse, um, but I got it via ASOS. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like better in the cutaways because this doesn't really do it any justice but um but yeah so i've got like a couple um sort of coats like this that kind of like that more wool felt material like i've got a black one and i've got two green ones one's a little bit more bigger oh i can't stop playing with my hair it's like hair wash day and i just feel like it looks grim anyway um <laughs> but yeah so i've got like a couple green ones and a black one and i definitely i've always eyed up a camel one but i've never seen one at a price point that i'm happy with that's also good quality as well because if I because realistically like you know I can't afford Max Mara coats which is effectively what camel coats are going for <laughs> um but yeah anyway I just saw this one I actually tried it on initially in warehouse so I got this in a size 10 not a size 12 which is what I usually am simply because I tried it on I already knew the fit of it um and I don't know I tried it on I was like oh no I don't really want it and then <sighs> I couldn't stop thinking about it so <laughs> I didn't end up grabbing it um and I definitely think it's something that will 
sort of look good with anything really. I just think it's definitely one of those winter staples. I'm gonna have this for years to come and I'm happy that I got it. Last but certainly not least, I bought a pair of boots from ASOS. Now these are ASOS brand and these are badass. So I wanted a pair <laughs> of uh, the And Other Stories Chelsea boots, just the plain back, back, eh, the plain black pointed boots. That's what I wanted. Um, and I was kind of waiting for Black Friday because they're about 80 quid. So um, any discount you can get on them is obviously a win-win. Um, but then I saw these and they kind of mixed together two things I wanted, kind of like a Western boot and that black style boot. Now don't get me wrong, I feel like a plain black pair of Chelsea boots is a staple that I probably should invest in because all of my shoes have a little bit more intrigue like these I guess. Um, I love shoes. I love shoes and I love coats. Um, but yeah these are, I haven't worn them out of the house yet so I'm not gonna rub them on my face. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I will admit these are a little bit tight. Um, it definitely needs to be worn in a little bit, so that's why I am wearing them in. But they're like a teeny tiny heel, um, so it's nice and comfortable. It's got this buckle detailing and the, the steel toe cap, which I think adds a little bit more interest to the shoe, but without it being so audacious that you can't really wear it all the time. So. These were Black Friday purchase and I'm very happy with them. Um, but yeah, um, speaking of boots, I do actually have another pair of boots that I already had. And these are from Koi Footwear. Now Koi Footwear has um, sales all the time. So this is why I got these. Now actually, full disclaimer, they didn't come with red laces. They came with actually white and black. But I wanted to, basically I wanted those Gucci shoes, uh, but I don't have a Gucci wallet. So I saw these shoes and I kind of thought, oh, what I can do, buy some red laces off of Amazon and Bob's your uncle. Um, so these, for comparison, you're like, Alice, you, do you have two pairs of black boots? Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> but I think they are quite different. So this one's obviously got more of a platform, more of a sort of tread on the bottom, whereas these are definitely more, but they've got more of a point. These ones are rounded, even though they both have laces. Like I don't think these would work with the red laces, whereas these are definitely a lot more casual. These are definitely something that I'd wear all the time during the day. Um, although I would wear these during the day too, to be honest with you, but I think these are a little bit more fancy, whereas these are a little bit more day appropriate. Anyway, and also really not expensive either, Koi Footwear. Um, I've got those with like a 30% off discount code. I think their shoes are about 40 quid anyway. They, oh my God. So they have these almost like, cyber goth shoes at the moment and oh my god hang on I'll, I'll put a picture up of them um but yeah these cyber goth shoes they're like kind of like this big platform that come up oh my god I love the look of them which I know I can't really justify a third pair of boots but my god do I love the look of them anyway moving on I've got a few bits from Topshop actually um so I did flash you Oop my leg a little bit earlier, but I'll show you in the cutaway, it's easier, because I'm wearing them. Um, I bought some cord Jamie jeans, but they're not jeans, obviously, they're cord. Um, kind of similar to the um, ASOS jacket. It's sort of, that's labeled ASOS denim, but obviously it's not made with denim. Um, so yeah, these are the Jamie style, which is what I, the typical black jean that I wear, but it's made with cord. Now I saw that they've done like a few like, satin type of trousers in different colors, which I think is cool, but you know what? I would just be so scared. <laughs> them ripping over my ass that I was like no I'm gonna go for the cords but although my friend she's got these like tobacco brown ones from Pull and Bear cords not satin trousers which I definitely think I mean, may need to invest in but yeah there's just some plain black cords which I just thought because you can't necessarily see that it's cord until you're a little bit closer up I just think they're actually pretty versatile um, and really comfy too because it's made of like fabric they're super duper comfy so um loving those as well um, but i did actually get funnily enough a few t-shirts from which are all inside out and by the way all creased um i must admit like i got this order a few weeks ago now and i kind of kept it all in the bag um after i tried it on so they're all a little bit creased sorry about that if that really bothers you um but yeah i bought a few t-shirts so this one is the only sort of like printed t-shirt and it's just sort of kind of off-white t-shirt with like a bunch of like positive slogans on it um, such as, and it, yeah, and they're all in different fonts, and I just thought it was really fun, um, but also, you know, basically a plain white t-shirt, but with just a little bit more intrigue with a little bit of red, which is probably my favorite, well, yeah, red's my favorite color, and I definitely, this type of season, I don't know, I just, like, I saw it, and I think it was 15 pounds, and I just thought, yeah, it's just a bit of fun, and I kind of had, like, a bit of a retro vibe again with, like, the off-white, and the fonts that they've used, and kind of saying, no problema, and don't give up, rise and shine, number one, smile. I don't know, I just, yeah, I liked it, so I bought it. Um, but yeah, and then I also got a couple other um, tops, and these are both, 
<laughs> I told you you'd see a theme in colours. Um, so these are a little bit more um, slouchy, kind of. They're kind of cut. I don't want to say like bat wing because they're, they're t-shirts, but um, they're like a cropped t-shirt, which is like baggy um with like really big sleeves um and i personally quite like tucking these in because i've got quite big boobs it kind of can err on the side of boob tent which isn't a look that i'm going for but um i want just some like plain t-shirts um but these just have a little bit more interest in them so yeah i've got this one in black and then also should have done this before <laughs> but yeah and then i've also got it in this sort of like rusty orange color again like you guys have seen my makeup we're definitely sort of i have this like tonal thing at the moment like i'm definitely loving orange a little bit more than red recently not like red's my og i will always love red but at the moment i think again i'm holding on to autumn a little bit and yeah this sort of like rusty orange color i'm really enjoying in clothing so yeah anyway speaking of red um i actually got a pair of tartan trousers <laughs> that are bright red here so these are from a brand called love too true hang on again still haven't worn these ones out i do you know what i do this thing where oh gosh i, I knew i wanted to film a haul because i had been buying clothes like crazy to be honest but yeah so i bought these and i just i haven't worn them out yet but i'm i'm excited to anyway so i've actually bought trousers from this brand before in i forget what the um tartan print is it's more of a it's like gr like a deep green and navy color which is i guess a little bit more unassuming but it's also tartan trousers but i really just wanted the classic bright red tartan and they also do them in petite lengths as well so my green ones are in the normal length which I do roll up a little bit whereas these are not uh these are the petite ones so I don't have to roll them up but um but yeah no um I think they're a little bit more of an independent brand which I quite like um and they make really nice trousers and they also always have discount codes as well don't buy these trousers full price and like I'm like small brand don't buy them full price because but yeah, I swear that you can get them 25% off literally most of the time <laughs> um but yeah, oh, I've just got two more little bits. So first of all, one from American Apparel, actually. So this here is just one of their um, cropped fisherman jumpers. So with American Apparel, as you may know, they shut all their shops. I think definitely all the shops in the UK. I don't know if they have any shops open in the US or if it's just completely e-commerce now. But I'm, I was still set up to their mailing list and they sort of sent me an email like 40% off all knitwear. And that to me... I always wanted one of these fisherman jumpers, but they were like 60, 70 quid. Um, so this is one of the cropped ones in black. Part of me wishes I got more because this worked out to be about 30 pounds, which is not bad at all for a really nice quality jumper. Um, and it's like a really nice layering piece. But yeah, I ordered this online um, and it came fairly quickly actually. Anyway, yeah, so if you miss American Power, which I do, do you know what? I have this pair of, funnily enough, another pair of green trousers. Are these like khaki green trousers, which I got from them in their sale years ago and I love them. I still wear them all the time. Um, but yeah, I, I really do actually miss American Apparel because it's one of those shops that admittedly I would shop their sales, but I think they really did make good products. Anyway, yeah, including this jumper, which I always, always wanted one of their fisherman jumpers and now i have one anyway so i thought that'd be a nice staple to get it in black but they do as as you can imagine they do it in a million different colors and last but certainly not least i have a skirt which oh isn't the right way and this one's from zara got a fun little story about this one so this is like a, a midi skirt with sort of those um pleats in it is quite thin so um it's definitely something that i'm gonna start wearing with tights sooner and it has like a little tie up and a um elasticated waist so a fun fact about this skirt i was in a sainsbury's local minding my own business buying myself some lunch and i saw a woman walk past wearing this skirt and i just i had been looking because there's that was it that revolution par operation par i forget what the brand's called where it's like kind of like, like satin skirt which is nice but is a little bit too polished for my liking um, but I definitely did want like a leopard print midi skirt. I've got a leopard print mini skirt. Um, so it was definitely something that I wanted to explore. And yeah, I saw her walk past. She was like in some like vans, like a denim jacket. I'm gonna literally, I'm starting it exactly the same way. And I, I, I could not not stop this woman. <laughs> I'd be like, where did you get your skirt from? And she's like, I got it from Zara. And I'm like, it looks amazing. You've styled it fantastically. Like really like, woo, girl power for this poor woman in Sainsbury's just minding her own business. But anyway, Needless to say, I then went on to Zara's website and bought it. Anyway, so I hope it's still in stock, but if not, these are absolutely everywhere at the moment. But yeah, that's everything. I think I need to use stop buying clothes um, sooner rather than later. If anybody wants any presents this year, other than 
me treat yourself um but yeah thank you so much for watching if there's anything that you'd like to see from me any more styling videos i'm definitely shh, don't tell anyone i'm definitely planning a styling video to do because i get actually quite a lot of positive feedback from my fashion videos so i should do more of them anyway thank you so much for watching and i shall see you soon bye